guys, it's Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. Yes, we got our hands on the Conquest Pro. Now, if you guys remember, I mean, I went to my Walmart three or four times. It says it was in stock at the store, but they could just never find it. They were like, hey, we don't know where it's at. Uh, we don't know. It could be on pallet somewhere. So I finally went again today after about two weeks, and sure enough, here it is. I was like, oh my gosh, they got it. Now, there was two on the shelf. I didn't want to take the other one. I usually buy two, but I was like, I'll leave it for some other lucky person who, you know, like me who goes there and finds it. Now, I went super early in the morning grocery shopping, and I was able to get it. So I was like, yes, and I could not wait to get here back right now. Literally, I got this like less than an hour ago to kind of show it for you guys. So let's hop right in. Let's take a look at the box on this thing. Again, the Conquest Pro, pretty sweet. Um, I mean, when you have the, uh, the Aeon Pro and the Nexus Pro lined up, I almost didn't even see it because the boxes are all kind of similar. But when you open this thing up, boom, you could see, you know, not as many parts as you get with the Nexus Pro, with the additional mags and all that stuff. But still, you're like, hmm, that's interesting. You're like, that's an interesting blaster. You're like, how does that, you know, that mag go in there? What's all this other stuff with it? So, yeah, the front of the box, not too crazy. If we do take a look at the back of the box, you're like, wow, you're like, look at that. You know, you're like, look at that magazine slash clip. You're like, does it really stick out that far? That's kind of crazy. I'm like, it's gonna be poking in my arm or something like that. So you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with this blaster. Um, I think when you open it up and actually use it. So for me, the first thing that I wanna get to is, yeah, is the whole mag mechanism back here. Because again, I've seen some blasters that are like this, but nothing that's been in like full-blown production. A lot of stuff that's been 3D printed where people make stuff, um, or maybe it goes in on the top, but I've never seen anything where it goes in the back that's been produced on a mass scale, right? So check that out. I mean, that is awesome. On the box, it makes it look like it sticks out like that, right? But no, it, I think they just show that so you know where the mag goes, but it just slides, boom, right in. That is so awesome. And this is a 15 round mag, which is awesome. It's better than a 10, better than an eight, 15 rounds. And it does work with the additional worker mags that I have here. Again, I have a bunch of these for my 3D printed ones. They go in there perfectly fine, come out perfectly fine, shoot just fine. So always have a few of these extra because I'm like, man, this thing is an absolute beast. So again, I, I can't stress enough, look at that. Oh, there is nothing here in the way. There's nothing coming down. It's just like really, really streamlined and like makes you want to shoot. So let's look at the blaster two up close and personal. Yeah, if you look at it, you're like, man, that is, that's very streamlined. It's like you almost, you almost lose the magazine. You're like, I don't even know where the thing goes when you're kind of looking at it. You're like, is this a single shot? But still, they always do a really good job, I think, with the aesthetics of the blasters um, with Adventure Force. It, 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 they always do a really, really good job. So again, I mean, look at that thing. Just looks phenomenal. The grip or the rear handle is great. I love the angle of it. It fits my adult hands just fine. Um, again, this is ages, what is it, four, say 14 plus on there. The front grip, just the same. Really, really good. I mean, the ergonomics of it are almost just like how your hand normally, right, cuffs are when you grab. So being able to hold this, you know, in your shooting position, it's really natural, which is kind of strange. I mean, I don't have to like scrunch my arms. I don't have to do anything. It feels really, really good. And the prime is really, really good. On the top up here, you have a ton of room for your tactical rails, right? Um, I don't even know. That's probably like 15, 16 inches of, of tactical rail goodness up there. I tend to not put anything, but again, it is completely up to you. On the front here, you do have your little muzzle brake. Again, this is very similar to the other ones inside the series with the Adventure Force and the Nexus Pro. Again, if you guys want to check those out, check them out right there. I mean, I there's a ton of these people can print off and you can make your own little thing. I kind of like just the stock one, but who knows? Maybe I'll make a, a different one or something like that. But still, this thing is rocking. So Let's just get right to it. Let's just show me shooting this thing. I know that's what you guys want to get to. So let's hop here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the audio going because I, I, like I always do, because I want you to hear how hard this thing is hitting. Um, and I'm like 35 feet away, somewhere right in there, 30, 35, 40. Um, and it's hitting hard. This thing was tipping the scales at 130 FPS. They say it shoots over 125. And for sure, it shoots over 125. And I was shooting the... Um, you know, the standard darts that come with it, the little, uh, the Adventure Pro half-length ones. But again, I was I was also shooting um, some of the uh, additional dart zone ones, uh, which I'll pull up here after this to kind of show you guys. But listen to that. Whew. It is hitting that hard. So definitely wear eye protection, guys. This is uh, this is no joke of a blaster when it shoots. And it, is, it does have slam fire, bump fire, whatever you want to call it. And it does it great. I mean, it shoots them hard every single time. And when I'm hitting the fence, I mean, these bolt, these 
uh, darts are, are bouncing back 10, 15 feet. <laughs> so, I mean, you guys can see here again, it rocks. Uh, it shoots extremely hard. Uh, one thing to note with this too, is with these additional mags that I have or the additional manufacturer's katana mags, um, they're, again, they're great. I put them in here and I shot probably about 100 shots to this so far before I'm doing this review and it all worked great. I did fire a couple different half length darts out of here. If you guys remember, the waffles used to be my favorites, but I've slowly moved over to the Adventure Force line and then of course some of the dart zone stuff uh, specific that are, are freaking awesome. Um, I used to love the bamboos, but again, we'll talk about that here in a second. So there you guys go. Check, I mean, that again, I don't even know what to say there. That thing just, it just shoots so hard and so straight. So now let's get onto the darts really quick. So it does come with, woo, it does come with the um, the adventure uh, the adventure force kind of the standard orange kind of grayish black darts here. Nothing bad to say about these. These things shoot very very hard and are very accurate. If you guys know, again, I like these right here, which are the uh, dart zone kind of specific pro darts here that shoot uh, very very well. Again, the bamboos are awesome. It is, it, you know, nowadays the dart manufacturers know that if they can make a quality dart that shoots straight, it shoots great. People are gonna use them because they wanna stick with them. And uh, I felt like, you know, maybe a couple of years ago that wasn't the case where people are just producing all kinds of darts and you're like, I don't even know. But now there's a few of them that I stick with that are actually really, really good. So there it is, guys. I mean, overall, this thing rocks. I, I wanted to throw this, this, this demo out here for you guys in this review because I'm like, man, if you see this, get it. Uh, it, it the whole loading mechanism for me, again, I'm just like, my gosh. I'm like, that is just so awesome. Like the whole aesthetic of it just feels so good. Like putting that in there. I've seen again, some other 3D printed stuff, nothing that's been mass manufactured that, as far as I'm aware of that would go into the top, like a P90 or something like that. But this just goes right in the back, man. Pop it out, put it in. Gosh, it feels so good. The only thing I could say is probably this mag release since it's a little bit up forward. I would like it to see it in here as like another trigger. So if you reach forward forward, you can pop back the mag. Maybe someone will make something there. Um, but still, this thing flat out rocks. It shoots hard and accurate. I have nothing bad to say about um, any of the Adventure Force stuff, the, 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 you know, the Aeon, the Nexus. I have nothing bad. The, the price point, the performance, flat out rocks. I will leave you with this. I'll pull it up here. Some of you guys probably will. Well, how does that you know, size compare to the Nexus and the Aeon? So I'll, sh I'll throw it up here so you guys can kind of see it. I mean... It's compact for what it is, um, and it is very streamlined, again, because you don't have that mag hanging down in the middle. It is just compact. It almost looks like a single-shot blaster when you, when you first kind of look at it, but then you're like, there's nowhere to put, you know, like a, a single shot unless you pull it back and then you put it in there or something like that. But still, oh, gosh, things shoot so hard. That is my two cents on this, guys. This thing rocks. The price point rocks. I have yet to see um, Adventure Force... Uh, put out something uh you know along this pro line that is bad uh and is overpriced they're all well priced and shoot phenomenal that's my two cents anyways let me know what you guys think thanks again fox fans Whew.